How's it going everybody? Landon with Late Model Restoration. Welcome to my detailed install video on Corbo's rear seat upholstery fitting the 1979 to 1993 Fox Body Mustangs. First things first, removing the seats in a Fox Body is very easy. However, the hatchback can be a little bit tricky. Be sure and check out our quick seat removal video by clicking the link in the description or the card in the upper right hand corner of your screen. All right guys, for this particular install, you will need a few common hand tools, a push pin removal tool, cutters, needle nose pliers, a staple gun strong enough to secure fabric piping, and of course a hog ring and plier kit, which is available on our site, lmr.com. I'm gonna be doing the work on this 1989 hatchback, which will be a little bit different from the coupes and convertibles because of the back seat. However, this will still give you coupe and convertible owners a good peace of mind on tackling this for yourself. This particular upholstery I'm going to be installing is also great, but the installation steps is verbatim for the black rear upholstery as well. I'll be picking up with both the seat bottom and seat backs out of the car. Starting on the seat bottom, begin by working your way around the entire underside of the seat, pulling or cutting the hog rings. I found it easiest to carefully pry them open and then remove them from the foam with a pair of cutters. If you plan on keeping the upholstery that is on the foam, be mindful when pulling the hog rings so you don't rip the fabric. Once all the hog rings have been removed, separate the old upholstery from the seat bottom foam. Position the seat bottom right side up. Turn the bottom upholstery inside out and then align the Corbo rear seat upholstery with the seat foam. Now roll the upholstery over the bolsters. As you roll it over, be sure and pull tight to smooth out the wrinkles. Flip the assembly over and prepare a hog ring into the pliers. Pull the upholstery tight and secure the black material on the upholstery to the listing rod on the seat foam. Start in the center and work your way down the back of the seat. Hog ring the Corbo upholstery to the same locations the previous upholstery was attached to. Now you can begin attaching the upholstery to the front part of the seat. Be sure and pull the upholstery tight before hog ring. Work your way down the front of the seat. When you reach a corner, fold one side in and then hog ring. Once finished, make sure the upholstery is securely attached. Feel free to add additional hog rings if desired. Moving to the seat backs. These are side specific. The two bolsters that do not have horizontal stitching will install toward the inside of the seat. Remove the old upholstery by separating the clips with the push pin removal tool. When you hook a clip, pop the panel tool quickly to remove the clip. Moving the tool slowly can sometimes cause the clip to remain attached. Work your way around the entire seat and then roll the upholstery around the edge of the foam. Now I clip these six hog rings that secure the listing rods to the metal framing in the foam. There will be two on each side and then two on the top. Remove the three listing rods from the old upholstery and transfer those to the new Corbeau upholstery. If you're wanting to replace your seat back carpet, now would be the time to do so. Check out our great selection at LMR.com. Position the upholstery over the foam and align it with the seams. Clip two hog rings to the horizontal seam in the foam and then two hog rings on the two vertical seams in the foam. Position the provided clips into the sheathing on the upholstery. Pull the upholstery tight and then roll it over the foam. Then roll the plastic sheathing toward the seat back and begin pushing them all into place. Work your way across the top and then the two sides. Move to the bottom and secure just the center clip. On each side of the sheath, the very bottom clip provisions do not need a clip. Grab the piping and pull firmly. Position it on the flat spot located on the seat back. Apply firm pressure with your staple gun and attach three staples. Clip the remaining clips on that side. Do the same for the other side on the bottom of the seat back and secure the remaining clips. Now grab the bracket you removed earlier and position it on the correct side with the attaching hardware. Take a ballpoint pin and slide it through the hinge slot on the bracket. Rotate it a few times to make a small mark. Remove the bracket and make a small incision in the upholstery. This incision will allow the hinge rod to slide through the bracket and upholstery without deforming the upholstery. Repeat these steps for the other seat back. Reinstall the seat backs and seat bottom in the car. Double check your work and you're all finished. As far as insulation goes guys, this one took me right at two hours from start to finish. Now, if you've done upholstery before, bet on spending the same amount of time. If this is your first rodeo, take your time. It's 
very easy to do, but it is a little time consuming. You could probably bet on about three hours from start to finish. If you guys wanna see more awesome videos covering the Fox Mustang, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Be sure to pick up some Corbo rear seat upholstery to match your new Corbo GTS two seats from the Real Fox Enthusiasts, LMR.com.